Valorant on console has just been released in beta, and I was curious about its anti-cheat system on console. Specifically since Valorant is known to have one of the best anti-cheat systems on PC. I decided to test this fury out by using my Zim Matrix on my Xbox Series X. Before we get into the video, I want to add a disclaimer. Using a device like the Zim Matrix is considered cheating and can result in your account being banned or penalized. After setting up my Zim Matrix device, I loaded up Valorant and jumped right into a private match to adjust my settings. I spent over an hour fine tuning my sensitivity and settings and I noticed a few interesting things. As we know, most games that use controllers have some sort of aim assist, which can be very aggressive or almost not existent. Valorant's approach to aim assist is that it slows down your sensitivity when you get near a target. In my testing, this works very well with a controller, but not with mouse and keyboard. While your sensitivity slows down near a target, it makes your pinpoint accuracy in quick flicks feel more difficult. The main advantage of using a mouse is the reaction time and the accuracy it offers. However, with this aim assist, it feels like your mouse is dragging through mud, which is quite annoying. Another problem I came across while setting up my Zim Matrix is that slow walking is normally done by holding your shift key and pressing your movement keys. On a controller, slow walking is done by pressing your joystick slightly. Keyboards can't really simulate this function easy, so an extra key needs to be programmed for this function. Overall, it wasn't terrible setting my matrix. After joining an unready game, I realized my sensitivity was way too high. I spent the entire game adjusting my settings, moving my mouse sensitivity from max to 17 across all settings. My matrix sensitivity was set to 50 and my mouse DPI was at 600. This combined gave me enough time to react, but I still had some issues with over flicking. Interesting enough, despite using mouse and keyboard and having better accuracy than most players on controller, I still was getting my butt absolutely destroyed by kids on controllers. Many gunfights ended with me getting headshot instantly when I peeked around a corner due to the aim assist slowing down my sensitivity, causing me to miss my shots. Despite wanting to give up, I pushed through and played a few more games, including a deathmatch and two more unrated matches with my mouse and keyboard adapter. Eventually, I did dial in my sensitivity to a point where I could flick accurately. I also found that using the focus mode helped a lot in specifically some scenarios, like going around a corner, having the focus mode on while picking the corner, and then also toggling your sight if you're not using a gun with a sight. Just having the focus mode while peeking a corner improved a lot of my gunfights. However, I noticed a bit of delay between the Matrix and the controller, though I'm not sure if it's the game itself or it was the Matrix causing it. On a positive note, there are some funny situations I got myself in while using this mouse and keyboard adapter. I was able to get some kills and even some ridiculous shots that shouldn't have happened allowing me to get some kills and I was able to stay in the middle of the leaderboard in my unrated games. Using the Vandal provided to be the best option for pinpoint accuracy. Of course the Vandal is a better option than the Phantom. The Phantom was better at hitting body shots so when I wasn't really feeling it some rounds I switched to the Phantom. And I think the SMGs didn't really work well for me while using the mouse and keyboard adapter. Because the aim assist slows down when you're on a target, it's really hard to adjust the mouse over to the target to put the clip into that person. So I end up just spraying next to them and not on them. While using a controller, it's a lot easier to push fully max all the way to that person while a mouse will increase as you go along because you're imitating a controller. In conclusion, while the Matrix adapter works very well as a mouse and keyboard adapter, I think it's one of the best, I think a controller is just better for this game. Valorant's console port 
is very well designed for controllers and they put a lot of effort into making it feel good. Using a mouse and keyboard adapter seems to put you at a very big disadvantage because of how the aim assist works and there's no way to turn it off. If you're looking forward to the game's full release and plan on using a mouse and keyboard adapter, you might want to reconsider as it might not be the best option. Valorant has one of the best anti-cheat systems and if they import that or bring something like Mousetrap, you could get banned. However, Valorant is a free game. So you could always just create a new account and if that account gets banned, just create a new one. Like it's an, an endless cycle that can't be stopped. So we really have to wait and see what they add or what they do. And even if they don't add an anti-cheat system into the console version, I still think there's not gonna be that many people using something like the strike pack or a mouse and keyboard adapter. With that being said, I'm gonna stick with my Xbox Elite controller for this game. And I've been quite enjoying the console port. If you find this video's information helpful, interesting, or even funny, please let me know in the comments. That being said, you guys have a good night and I'll catch you in the next video.